Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about upgrading your Server 2016 domain controller to Server 2019. So let's get started. So first thing first, uh, I just want to show you guys that my current machine that I want to upgrade to Server 2019 is running server 2060 data center. It does have the Active Directory domain services roles as well as DNS installed into it. And the first thing that you need to do is retrieve the server 2019 ISO. You can either burn it into a flash drive or a DVD and then insert it into the server that you want to upgrade. Now I'm doing everything within a virtual environment. So the ISO, I actually, I mounted it within this virtual machine and it's the D drive. So I right clicked on it, clicked on install run program from the media. It's going to start preparing itself. Once it's done, you have two options to either download the update drivers and optional features or not now. Also by default, this is checked off. I want to help make the installation of windows better. Uh, this is really up to you, but I normally uncheck this and then click on next and it's going to start getting stuff ready. It's going to want you to select an image uh, because I have 2016 data center. I want to upgrade to 2019 data center. Okay. And I'm picking the desktop experience, click on next and accept the license and terms. You have two options, either keep all personal files and apps or do nothing. This right here would delete everything, including files, apps, and settings and completely reinstall the operating system. That, that that's not what you want. You want to keep everything as is because you have to have the directory. You probably have DHCP. You probably have DNS installed into this machine. So you want to keep everything as is. So I left it as keep personal files and app and clicked on next. It's going to start preparing itself and then boom. Uh, I forgot to do a little bit of preparation within my server 2016. So we need to run the AD prep forest prep and then also I believe domain prep. So within the D drive uh, where the ISO is inserted, right? You want to go inside support and then right click or sh hold the shift key and then right click on the AD prep folder. You should get an option to open command window here. So that's what you want to pick and it's going to open up a command prompt. Make sure the command prompt is within the admin level. Now the first command that you want to do is AD prep with a parameter of forest slash forest prep. Hit enter. You're going to hit type on C and then click enter again and it's going to start uh, prepping your forest. If everything goes well, you should get the command has completed successfully. You're good to go. Now, the second thing that you need to do is a domain prep. So again, with the same uh, utility, you're going to use AD prep with a parameter of forest slash domain prep. Hit enter and it's pretty seamless, pretty quick and you're done. Now you go back inside this window, click on refresh. And if everything works well, you should get this. It's going to start saying ready to install. And then you click on install and it's going to start dropping everything inside the server 2016 machine. And then once everything is completed, it's going to start restarting the machine. It's going to restart a couple of times, I think two or three times. And once everything is done, uh, like you see right here, it's loading the files and it's start installing and start pushing out the update. And I kind of walked away and I grabbed lunch. And when I came back, it was, it was, it stopped here. So I did a control delete. I logged into my BJ tech news HD domain and long and behold, the server manager loaded up and they wanted me to install windows admin center, because this is something that, uh, I think server 2019 is trying to push to a lot of uh, admins. They want you to start using this tool. And then uh, I kind of opened up the server manager, went inside a local server and the operating system was upgraded to server 2019 data center. And I said, guys, that is how we upgrade our server 2016 domain controller to server 2019. Super basic. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.